Hi, welcome to the weekend. Uh, you know, on the weekends I try to look at some stuff with a historical perspective. Every single time I give a speech, I'm always asked, all right, who do you think would have been a better president, Hillary or Obama? And, you know, usually I choke on my reply, but um, let's talk about that a little bit today. I think there were some very fundamental differences between the two of them. Obama does not believe in the free enterprise system. He's a socialist, or at best a corporatist. We've talked about that, where big government and business and banks divvy up the pot, uh, and it's basically a planned economy. Uh, Hillary really did believe in the free market system, or does. Uh, she and Bill were very focused on that, and I think that's a fundamental distinction. Now, of course, their health care actions would have been identical. The bill Obama passed is essentially the bill Hillary proposed 20 years earlier. Uh, so in that respect, they'd be the same. How would they have responded to the recession? Well, Bill Clinton, you know, when he came into office, proposed a stimulus package, just like Obama did. He didn't get it through, and it was only about $50 billion, a piker compared to Obama's trillion dollars. But, uh, but Hillary probably would have done the same thing, but probably not as expensive or as extensive as Obama. But there are other important distinctions. Uh, first of all, I think that Hillary probably would not uh, be as enthralled by the EPA and by the environmental regulations. Environment was never really her thing or Bill's. It was always Gore's, but it wasn't really hers. And I think that many of the far-reaching, intrusive regulations that the government set up now under Obama that are really hurting the economy, uh, I think probably she would not have done that. I think there would have been a lot less class warfare. I think there would have been a lot less rich against poor. But Hillary would have had her own problems that Obama doesn't have. First of all, she was ethically challenged. Uh, she, every time when she was involved, there was always a scandal surrounding her, be it Travelgate or the FBI files or, you know, her, uh, her futures market speculation or Whitewater. Uh, and I think that that would have followed her to the White House. Hillary is very financial, very pecuniary, very focused on stuff. I mean, she saved Bill's underwear and gave it to charity to take a tax deduction. <laughs> what does that tell you? And they took half the White House China when they left, had to give most of it back. Uh, so those kinds of traits that you really don't see in evidence with Obama, you would see in evidence with Hillary. The other thing is that I think Hillary would have been much more likely to get us into more extensive military involvement. Uh, she was, after all, the one who pushed Obama to go into Libya, and uh, she's a hawk on those issues, and I think there's a pretty good chance that we would have been in a war if we had Hillary. So does Hillary, is she an improvement or worse than Obama? Hard to tell. The one thing I am pretty sure about is she'd be a tougher opponent. Obama's a cream puff, basically. You stand up to him, he draws a line in the sand, you ignore it, and he backs down. We've seen that happen time and time again. Hillary would not back down. Hillary would be a very tough opponent who would have dug in and fought and very possibly won in all of the budget fights that have happened since 2010. So in a way, you're better off with Obama because he's easier to beat. On the other hand, Hillary probably would be less socialist and less left-wing than Obama is. So you call it in the air, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm happier having an opponent we can beat than one that would be very hard to beat. Thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend.